Hey guys, I'm back with another protest video and today I am going to attempt and use my stash kit again um, from the summer stash kit and I am going to use a few things from it but I'm also going to pull out from other places in my stash. So I'm starting with a white piece of cardstock and I am matting my photo with my standard white piece of cardstock with the little notebook edge. And the first thing I did, um, I'm pulling, I pulled the papers out from my kit and stuff, and I thought that maybe this tissue paper would look nice. Now the reason I thought this kit would really work is because there's a lot of pink in the picture, and there's a lot of pink in my kit. So I'm going to start with a couple different paper options that I think I might want to use, and uh, kind of go from there. So I have this paper here from Dear Lizzie. And just flipping through and just picking out the pinks that I think I might use or like some florals and things that might be uh, good to use. Now also I really wanted to make this page girly, a really really girly, like over the top girly um, as much as I could. Uh, I'll explain why in a bit. But um, I knew I had that the Dear Lizzie Happy Place uh, collection, had the die, cut pa the die cut pack, had like this lipstick. Uh, piece so I made sure to pull that out from the beginning and uh, try and use it So I'm also going through three by four cards four by four cards and six by four by six cards to um, See if there's anything that I might want to cut out and use it as, as an icon or if there's something I want to map my uh, my picture with also I saw this um, I Want to make a really big title so what I'm doing is I'm going through all my my basket of letter stickers here and I'm pulling out a bunch of different options. I have two gold options because I know I want to use uh, at least one gold font. And I'm going to leave those to the side because I thought I should start my design of the page first and then do the title. And then, thank god, I eventually realized that the title is going to be gigantic so that needs to be the vocal point of this page. So I should start with the title and then add the rest of the things. So. Yeah, so I have matted my photo with that pink paper, and that that's about that's about it. I couldn't really work any make anything else work, so I just decided I'm gonna do the title and see where that takes me. So I'm gonna spell out the words shopping the the words the title shopping spree, and then accidentally I'm going to add a couple more words to it because I found pre made words that work perfectly. So one of those words is the in progress that I have stuck on that ruler there that was included in my kit and it's going to go it started off kind of being shopping spree in progress and then um, yeah so I'm taking some time and choosing which stickers I want to use and stuff so I did pick out that uh, gold font up there that as opposed to the other one because I just I don't know it looked I felt it looked better it was a nice scripty font and uh, also that met that gold in that matched the gold that I have in some letter stickers, uh, not letter stickers, word stickers a lot better. But I don't end up using a word sticker, so it doesn't really matter. And then once I had this title down, I really wanted to have the title and maybe some other embellishments and papers kind of um, surround the picture and kind of drown the picture. And I, I know that makes completely no sense. Um, but I wanted the picture to be surrounded by all this other stuff and kind of have the picture in the middle i don't know you'll see what i mean when i finish the layout but i really wanted it i wanted the the product i was using to kind of and um, um, i don't know how to explain this the word's not coming to me i like i wanted the picture to be kind of yeah, I just wanted to be surrounded by other product. I will see what I mean a bit better in a bit. So I wanted to bring in a bit more of the light pink and a bit of the mint that's in those Dear Lizzie words um, um, stickers. So I pulled out the Posh collection and I only have the collection kit. So I started with just adding that uh, paper there on the side because it had the gold and it had the pink and I thought it looked perfect. But it kind of went against the surrounding my picture and drowning it. I'm gonna say that phrase and it doesn't really, it sounds very depressing, but <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean. So um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna switch that up. And I decided to go through the Posh collection, as, uh, the cut aparts as well, because I kind of wanted to add florals to this page, and there were some gorgeous florals in here. So I'm gonna pick out the cards that have some large floral, floral clusters that I can cut out. And then as I was cut, I was about to cut the florals out of that weight, just see if, just make sure this is a design you're going with, and of course it was not, so I'm glad I didn't cut those out. Um, I remember, I had in the back of my mind that I had this, um, Emmy Tangerine, 
chipboard set. I think it's probably because I pulled it out for the last layout I made, but I didn't actually use it. And I really remember this hot pink word that says awesome. So I thought the awesome would fit perfectly in the title with awesome shopping spree in progress. So I'm going to add that. And that also helps surround the picture a bit more. Um, make the picture kind of blend into the title, I guess, is what I really want to do. Uh, so, yeah. And then I also added just a tiny piece of that uh, pink paper from the Posh collection because I did want to bring in that pink that's in the in progress piece as well. And then I'm going to add a little strip of this paper that I started to use in the beginning just to bring a bit more uh, pop, a pop of the hot pink over to the side. And then I was struggling with this mint color because I didn't know how else to bring it in. So I thought maybe I could use these uh, funky glitter blue letters. Um, I think they're a Fitzgerald font and they probably came in a Chamel collection. Um, but they, they were too much. And the reason I have sprue written down there is because I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. So I just put out the smaller letters that I could get. Um, on that sheet so yeah and then I decided no I do like the mint better so I'm gonna have to figure out how to bring in the mint over somewhere and somewhere else and also using that uh, die cut there uh, to fill in a gap between some of the words and it has this mustardy yellow color so I thought I might as well bring it over uh, to the photo so I'm gonna use a 4x4 card from the that was included in my kit actually from the simple story sunshine and happiness collection and now i cut there were some phrases on this piece on this chipboard set here that i really wanted to use but they had gold glitter on them and i thought i felt that it clashed too much with the with the font that i use for shopping it wasn't working and then of course i i don't know why i didn't think of it sooner i remember that i have the confetti maggie holmes chipboard set that has a lot of mint and that I've been trying to use up. I don't, I don't even know why that didn't dawn on me sooner. So I'm going to pull out quite a few pieces, surprisingly a lot of pieces, and I'm going to use all of them on this page um, that have mint. So one of the things I have mint was this banner. Um, and I'm going to, I'm trying to make it work, but it's cut, it's proving a bit difficult um, to, to, to design the page with that huge ruler there. So I thought I might as well, I thought I, I, the reason I wasn't gluing things down is because I had the idea that I wanted to do mixed media on the back. So that's what I decided to just do it and see what happens. And if I'm going to, uh, this is not going to work out. I like, I mean, I like the technique and stuff and how the page turned out, but it did not match the page I was working on. And I'm going to make two backgrounds too, before I decide that it's not going to work out. So yeah, I am gonna, I did say them though to use another layout, so maybe that's a good thing. So I'm stenciling a, um, with this Echo Park uh, stencil, and I'm using yellow acrylic paint and white gesso to kind of have like an array of stuff. But that yellow is a really lemony yellow, and the yellow that I have on the kit, in the kit, is more of a mustardy yellow. And I tried to bring in some more of this mint green with the cracked pistachio here. It, it's, it didn't match whatsoever. Um, you'll see when I started to put the things on. I thought, yeah, I really liked it without just like looking at it like that. But I started to put the words on. And I was like, no, nope, not going to work. And the gold did not, didn't pop off that yellow. It was just bad. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, really soon. And then I thought maybe I'll just do like... Um, the white mild gesso to just add a bit of texture but i i didn't like that either i just really like the plain white cardstock so i'm going to save those for a future layout and just cut another piece of cardstock to um to use so yeah and now i've i've always waiting for the paint to dry in between i have gone ahead and glued down all the papers to each other so i can move that cluster um, as a whole as opposed to moving every three seconds. So I'm going to bring in back my words here And because they're chipboard thankfully the the backing is really bad So they're not sticking anywhere so I can move them easily <laughs> but Yeah, and then here I'm gonna bring back those embellishments um, I'm still having glued down my title though because I want to make sure that I know where everything's gonna go before I glue them down so yeah um I have that gorgeous floral. See, I finally used that floral. I've been hoarding that floral. And also, uh, I love that. I mean, the, the colors match perfectly. It had the mint and both shades of pink on it. So I'm going to stick that over by the, by over to that side. I'm also going to use that phrase that says big smile. And then that gold bow is also going to make it on this layout. And I am going to find a place for that banner. I'm super happy how that banner looks on this page in the end. Oh, I did pull out this diagonal. Uh, pink stripe that's from Simple Stories and Sunshine Happiness Collection because I felt like the layout needed something a bit more. It was a bit too white, so I'm gonna once I back it on that gorgeous pink diagonal stripe, it looks a lot, lot 
like it's it's getting closer to being done so i'm finally gluing down all the words and now i can really play with my embellishments so i kind of wanted to tuck this thing the chipboard floral under my photo but i it it because I had, I had stuff overlapping the photo, I had stuff under the photo, and adding this really thick chipboard piece under it just made it look weird and kind of morp and stuff. Um, so I'm going to end up not doing that. I'm just going to stick it out on top. And I'm fussing with where to place the banner if I want to put it at the top there or at the bottom. And I'm going to decide on putting it at the top because I, it just felt better up there. Uh, so this is a banner. And then that bow is going to go over by the lipstick, and uh, that's about how the embellishment is going to look. I did, oh, I actually pulled this scallop piece out as well. This is, was included in my kit. And I'm going to end up putting it over to the side where that floral is. It just adds another pop of texture and brings that diagonal stripe that I have on the paper I'm matting the whole photo on uh, down here. So, uh, yeah. So then I decided to cut off that piece that I was going to tuck under the picture and just kind of stick that on top. And I'm just going to take some time now and glue everything down. Um, so by the by video editing, it's all glued down now. And I'm going to add one strip of washi tape under there just because, I don't know, it kind of looked nice. Didn't really need it, but I thought, what the heck. I might as well just add it since I like it. I thought I would add it in a couple other places too, but I'm not going to end up doing that. I'm going to add some under that bow to kind of ground it, and then also under my photo, which you saw there. And I wasn't going to gut this originally, but then I thought, what the heck, I really like this paper as a mat, so I, if I don't, I could always use it as a mat behind a photo. So I just got a bit of it out to, to be able to do that, because there isn't also a green pattern on the back of that, which is cool. So glue that down, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some... Uh, sequins, which surprisingly I had the perfect colors of sequins. I had this gorgeous mint color and then I'm gonna find some gold hearts and these yellow sequins that kind of match. So I'm gonna kind of randomly add those all over the page and that's going to complete this one and I am super happy with how it turned out. I don't do any journaling on it yet because this is part of like a travel uh, page and I do the journaling once I finish all the pages for the travel thing. So I didn't say anything about the picture. Oh well, I'm running out of time, but I usually don't do huge shopping sprees and I did when we were in Greece, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I have pictures over on Instagram and I will see you next time.